So this is little Theo, two months old. Okay, we're getting our first ever kitten today. Um, I've never had an animal before, so I'm super excited. We're going to pick him up. He's about an hour away. It's a little boy, baby cat. His name is Theo. Um, typing in the address, I'm very nervous. That is little Theo. These are pictures from where he's staying at right now. Been waiting for like a week to pick him up. Um, and we have his little bed that we're gonna put him in that we got from Target. formally introduced him just because I started recording as I was driving in the car and I was super excited and whatever else but basically um, I've been looking for a cat for a super long time and as you guys know I was in school so I couldn't have one in my dorm and I tried going through um, I don't know what it's called it's like disability services where I could have a cat as kind of an emotional support just because I am diagnosed with panic disorder and I have generalized anxiety disorder. So like I could qualify but I went through the school and honestly it was it was a really difficult process and I understand that because they're trying to like, I'm sorry, he's, he's playing over here. Um, but I understand that because you know they don't just want everyone being like, oh I want an animal so I have this or whatever which sucks but people do that um so basically the school was like yeah you have to be like just suicidal if you don't have an animal and i was like well um no but <laughs> basically i was denied and they said i could reappeal the next semester but at that point i was just so he loves playing with my toes i was just so pissed off that um they kind of like invalidated me and whatever I don't know the whole situation's over with but I didn't end up getting an animal then so now that I have my own apartment that allows pets but with coronavirus going on and everything I couldn't just walk into shelters and see what animals that they had I basically was looking online and I was part of a Facebook group in the area that I live in and I had posted that I was looking for you know a cat kitten someone basically responded to me saying that their cat had kittens and they couldn't take care of all of them so they were looking to like sell the kittens basically and so I was like of course I'm interested and in everything and we spoke back and forth and I really came to trust them and they trusted me so the person got back to me and they were like okay so we have a boy that is available and they were like, honestly, you can just take him. Like, we're not asking for any kind of payment. Like, we just want to put a smile on someone's face. So me and my girlfriend were obviously like, 
you know, this is too good to be true. We were obviously expecting to like pay some kind of fee for rehoming or anything like that, but we ended up going to their house um, and we were very safe and careful about it. And we had our masks on and we met in their, you know, kind of outside with their open garage, stuff like that. And then we met him um, and he was only eight weeks old at that point. Um, he was born on April 20th, 2020, so he was born on 420, and they originally named him Ivan, but I was not vibing with Ivan, so we ended up renaming him Theo, which is so funny because out of the whole litter, like, she gave them names, you know, how I told you his name was Ivan, and one of his sister's names that has the same color as him is named um, Cleo, so it's funny how we ended up naming him Theo, so it's... Theo and Cleo. And then I also bought um, claw trimmers because I'm not going to be declawing. Um, it's it's a personal choice, I guess, but um, personally, I know that it's painful. Um, they need their claws for a lot of things. Um, it could cause infection, just stuff like that. Um, just after research, I decided that's not something I wanted to do, so I'm just going to be keeping up with trimming them. I mean, he's still so little. He's only two months, but his claws are very sharp. I have scratches all over my arm from him already. He's so good and I have never been so happy. Like me and my girlfriend are obsessed with him. All we do all day is send pictures of him and talk about him and I even, um, I'll show you. I seriously bought a camera just so I could watch him while I was at work or at home because he's so little and I love him and I just want to make sure that he's okay. I know I'll be doing updates as time goes on. He wants to go and play. He wants to go and play. He's saying, Mom, shut up. Go ahead, Bubba. 